Hey guys, I'm Kane from OLP Robotics and today I'm going to show you some features on the Wii Cobot boarding package. Features I'm going to demonstrate today are the seam tracking and seam finding. So seam tracking is when it can follow along a path that's distorted or deviated. And the seam finding is if your start point has changed or is not quite accurate, it will be able to come in, touch the edges and know exactly where and calculate where the route is. So for my path I need to set five waypoints. I'm going to use the free drive button up here on the uh, end effector. I need to set an approach and a retract, so I'll do that now quickly. So they're both set. The next ones I need to set are my start point. So I'm going to come in here, manually move the torch to where I want it in space, save that point. But the beauty of robotics is that you can adjust your torch angles to be exactly, much more exact than a human operator can do. So I'm going to enter these values in now. And you'll see now that the torch is going to adjust to those torch angles that you might have on your WPS. I've got a 15 degree push angle and a 45 degree tilt angle. The next thing I need to set for my search point for my scene finding is my search point. So I'll come up in space here. You can be plus or minus five centimeters from your uh, edges. The next thing I want to do is I'm just going to come back to my set start point and I need to set my end point. I could do that by manually moving it, but instead I'm just going to drive the robot along my axes, making it very simple for myself. And it maintains those torch angles that I set before. Alright, so now that I've set all of my uh, points that I need to save, I'm going to do a quick dry run just to make sure my path looks great. So I've got, made sure that I've got my welding turned off and my control pendant here. So you'll see it's coming in touching the upper edge and the lower edge and you can hear a slight little voltage signal being sent and you'll notice also that it's doing a slight weave this is for the through arc seam tracking signal it needs to be able to touch the upper wall and lower wall to be able to determine the voltage difference and hence the distance difference so I'll stop that path because that path's going to be perfect that's exactly what I programmed what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to kick the plate off maybe a little bit more and I'll run that exact same path again, still in dry mode. you notice it comes in and does its seam finding again. And it calculates that route perfectly. What you'll notice this time is that the path is starting to deviate slightly off that upper wall because it's not welding and there's no through arc seam tracking signal. Um, so it's no longer touching that upper wall and as it gets further down it will deviate further and further. I'll stop that now and we'll do the welding. And what you'll notice is that it will track perfectly along that edge now. I'll turn my welding on and press start. drive manually back to the original position that I programmed at the end of the weld. You can notice that it has it's probably about 10 mil out from the weld where it ended up. So it's followed along that edge using the thruxing tracking signal.